Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss a very interesting problem again from my binary search playlist. It's also an easy problem. So we're going to first just cut two, three easy problems and then we moved on to the difficult medium and hard problems. So I have already uploaded one video of an easy problem. You can, if you haven't checked it out, you will like, you can watch that problem first. Then you can watch this video, which will make this video more easily grasping for you. So as you can see, this is a very important question asked in a lot of interviews also. And the question statement states that you have to find out whether the given positive integer nums, you have to write a function whether this is a perfect square. As you can see, like 16 is a perfect square of under root like 4, 4 into 4 is 16. So as you can see whether this is a perfect square. And you do not, you cannot use an inbuilt library function such as SQRT. Because if you are using SQRT, then it will directly tell you that whether this is a perfect square or not. So you cannot write or use a perfect square or like inbuilt function. So how you can solve this problem? So you can pause this video and at the hint is that you have to use binary search all like all of this. So like how you can solve this? See, in the last video, I've told you that binary search can be used in two cases, whether the answer is fixed or it is a monotonic function. In this, as you can see, all like answer is fixed. Why the answer is fixed? Because they all like there's always exist only one answer which max like which is matches to the perfect square value. Which means that if there is four, if like this the answer is 16, then the answer of this is four only. You cannot match five with this or six with this. But in monotonic functions, you can also match five or six to the answers because these are also correct. But in this, only one answer is correct. So what you can do over is if you are given 16 and there, there is only one answer present for this you can iterate over the possible value so let's assume that i have values from 1 till 20 my range is from 1 till 20 then i will check the middle element which is 10 what i will do i will square this out if i square this out this will turn out to be 100 then i will check that whether 100 is the value i'm searching for because see these are the smaller numbers my number is 16 but if i iterate over so it 16 is a uh, like perfect square of 4 so i'm not searching over 16 but i'm searching over the smaller number so as you can see if i come to 4 then if i square 4 it will turn out to be 16 and my answer is correct that, that i found out a number which is equal 16 and because i found out a number equal 16 which means that 16 is a perfect square but if i'm searching for 14 though i got a number 16 but i will not get 14 in any way you can assume that this is an array of like 1 uh, like 4 then 9 then 16 and so on and i'm searching this number in this so you can all like you can also make this array uh, like you can pre-compute this whole array so you can iterate over all the possible values and over the like the maximum possible answer and then just do a binary search and find out whether this number which we are finding is present in this array okay but this will take you o of n to first compute this whole array and then because you are computing for all the n numbers and then you are searching but you can directly just use binary search irrespective of producing and just find out that the answer is o and o of log n. So how we are doing this is we are checking that my least value is 1, my perfect square of 1 is 1 and my maximum can be as you can see in this question my maximum can be 2 to the power like 2, 2 to the power 31 minus 1. So the r I take is this only 2 into 2 to the power 31 minus 1. This is actually like left shifting the bits by 31 positions so i'm actually taking this number only you can also use a power function to make this number okay or like you can multiply 231 times to make this right boundary now i am finding out whether this number is exist in the like uh, my vector or array or not so what i do i will just do the uh, like standard binary search function which i have already told in the last video just make left less than r find the middle element okay but because and my answer which is the number I'm searching is mid into mid because mid is the number I'm searching for as you can see if I am on 10 then my number I'm searching on is 10 into 10 which is 100 whether 100 is a perfect square yes already 100 is a perfect square but whether 100 is the number I'm searching for so I will find out whether 100 is the number I'm searching for so mid into mid and then I'm type casting into long long because as you can see this number can be pretty large and if I use that number twice multiply them in the integer format only then it can like overflow that's why i've type casted the first element in the long long and also storing the answer in answer which is long long then i have two options because as you can see i have already told you 
in such type of questions there is only one answer which exists so what will i do i will match that whether the answer i'm searching for or the answer which i get is equal to the answer i'm searching for if the yes then this is a perfect square yes already because see i am iterating over the numbers i am making them perfect square and if i make them perfect square whether this number is equal to the perfect square i'm searching on yes then the answer is true yeah, that that it is a perfect square if it is not a perfect square this is not the number i am matching then there are few cases in which whether the number i got after multiplication this answer is greater than the number so as you can see let's assume that i get 100 and i'm searching for let's assume 160 like this 100 1600 then it already means that my answer is on the right hand side because see the mid element i got is 100 and i'm searching for 1600 so it already means that my answer doesn't lies here because all the number less than this will have a perfect square less than 100 all the numbers right to this will have a perfect square more than 100 so already my answer will right lie to the right of this so i will shift my left pointer to this or my shift my right pointer to this if it lies on the left hand side so i will shift my right pointer according to this and i will not mark it to the mid because see mid doesn't consist my answer i have already checked the point in which whether mid consists my answer no so mid is not consisting my answer so i will not include mid again in the jumps and in the last also i have told you i have to also compare it with the left pointer so whether the left pointer is equal to nums if yes answer is true again else the answer if it doesn't match in any of the four following cases then the answer is false so i hope you get the gist of this problem using this code if you still have any doubts please mention down i will make more videos on binary search so stay tuned see you in the next one take care bye